we're here in test pit three. It's uh, Tuesday. Um, we're just cleaning up what uh, fell in the hole of, uh, during our uh, day off yesterday and um, taking back uh, the last area uh, of the surface to expose the timbers underneath. Once that's all done and we've had a final clean up uh, of the timbers, then they will be recorded, photographed and lifted. It's the morning of day nine. We've got a new set of weekly venturers who started today. Yesterday was our day off. As you can see, the weather's taken a turn for the worst. So, unfortunately, we've basically spent two days trapped in the museum, trapped in our tents, looking at the pouring, miserable driving rain. And it's made my trench look like this. It's pretty bad. It's made it a bit bogging, as we say up north. So, what do we have to do? We have to trial back again. I feel really sorry for Lisa, who's right at the end, because she's trialled that piece of dirt for, for three days constantly now. <laughs> she's getting to know it really, really well. Quite intimate with it, some might say. But um, yes, so we're going to clean back. I want to try and find more features. Okay, so I've come over from trench one into uh, trench two now. So I've moved house for the day. Um, at the moment, we're just troweling back our buried soil in here. Uh, we've already taken out one square, and we're now taking out our grid, grid square four. And the reason we're doing this is that uh, we're finding struck flint in our buried soil horizon. So we're gonna go down bit by bit with our trowels and see if we can recover any of the struck flint. And once we've got this all off, hopefully we'll reveal some archaeological features uh, sealed and buried beneath our soil horizon. That is quite impressive. Isn't it great? These here is simply me. Ready numbered post. I couldn't believe it. I and a wheelbarrow and uh, 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 watering can of I don't know if it's <laughs> yeah, it yeah. very. To locate stuff, I've scanned stuff in from the monograph yeah. and fitted it as best as I can. Okay, so the coring survey continues. We've had to slightly change our approach because we've not been readily able to define the archaeology in the way that we quite hoped. We're hoping that the corer would hope we'd be able to find some of the wood, some of the actual Bronze Age platform wood in the coring head and then define the edge of the platform and therefore position our last test pit over the edge of the platform. That strategy is not working very well. We can't really identify the archaeology using the Cora, so we've changed the strategy. And what we're doing now is we're doing a slightly more random sampling strategy within the area for which we have permission for cores. We're hoping that way that we might actually hit some archaeology in which we find some wood, find some uh, of the, the Bronze Age platform, we can then sort of extrapolate and work out from that point. No, no, but he must have brought it back sometimes. He would be able to um, cost reference and use some of this. So it's often said that Eskimos have ten words for snow. Well, I, I think archaeologists have the same concept for rain. And lo and behold, after a week of sun, very, very unusual archaeological weather, normal service has been resumed. So it's been thundering down pretty much half the day and we've been running in and out between our shelters, but that's not put anyone off and we've been pressing forward with the trenches. Trench one, we've started to expose our buried land surface. We've been finding more of those post holes. And in trench two, we've been finding lots of lithics coming up out of that same land surface, just above what we think is the earlier Bronze Age beaker archeology. span now, today we had two very special visitors. We had Francis Pryor and Maisie Taylor, which was great. They always have something good to say and pinpoint us in the right direction. And we've pretty much pinpointed now what we think is the edge of the platform ready so that we can put uh, Test Pit 1 in there tomorrow. So that's what we've got for, to look forward to tomorrow. We've got a great DVIP speaker this evening. We've got Bob Bewley, who heads up the uh, Heritage Lottery Fund, and funnily enough, also started his career out here at Flag Fen. So it was a great moment there when he met up with Francis and Maisie, and they were talking about old times. So do tune in tomorrow, when we're gonna to be doing more of the same, and hopefully, 
might even get a bit of sunshine. We'll see you then.